Welcome back to how to install a wood fence. Today I'm going to show you how you can install a quality wood fence like the one you see here. If you want this same look that we put up on this panel of fencing, then stick around for this video because I'm going to show you how to do all these intricate cuts and get the look that your neighbors will be jealous of. <laughs> for all these individual boards, we have to take them off individually anyways, so it'll probably be better to just speed round them with this sledgehammer. There's probably a better way, but I don't know if there's a funner way. All right, quick update for you guys on this fence project. We got all these posts out. I got this one out with the truck and this one actually. And then these three down here we did by hand. And then as far as this metal fence back here that you guys seen Ashley and I do the other day or get started on. If you saw that video, that's where I bought the auger and we dug all these holes. But we, we've made some progress on this, so check it out. The fence is going to end right here. The privacy fence and the metal is going to go right here. So I got all these things up. I got all my, um, you know, inline posts, all the corner posts. That one needs to go up there. None of this is welded yet. And then I got this little fish mouth tool that it allows you to cut this saddle in the pipe. So I, I spent some time learning that. That was pretty fun. Oh yeah, it's hitting me right in the face. Dang, that was actually almost dead on straight across. <whistles> yes, sir. I'll drop this in without the bevel. Yeah, that is, that is exactly what I want to see right there. That is really good. That is, I can't ask for anything better than that. It's up off the pipe a little bit because the way I'm cutting it with this cutoff tool, it's got that bevel on it. So I'll take the, the grinder um, disc and just grind that back, slope it back in there and I think we are gonna be good. That is so satisfying to see that go together. And that same tool allows you to cut miters. So I just cut this with an angle grinder right here and just match these up, it's hanging down. There's gonna be a gate right here. Another miter right here, a little, little gapped for my liking, but we'll, we'll throw some uh, caulking in there with the welding stick. And then that comes all the way down over here and then these pipes right here, they're just old oil filled pipes. Got them for $1.21 a foot. So I got all this steel and that steel right there for 250 bucks, I think it was. And I'm still gonna have enough to make the gate for over there. But they just thread together right here. You can see this is the, uh, this threads into there and you just connect them. If you wanted a cleaner look, you could just cut this, cut this and then weld the seam. But this is fine for what I'm doing. I'll just weld this right here and we'll be good to go. But those little copes were actually pretty fun to cut. And they held the fence up there perfect and let me fit everything and I didn't even need a second helper. But then it goes over here and then our property line ends right here at this post. And then I'm gonna eventually 
follow that up to that fence right there. Let's see where we're at now. Should be at about 30. Pretty close, maybe a little bit more. Yeah, that's 30 right there. So we're good. So we're gonna be doing this for the next, I would say two hours. Just digging up all these, making sure we're good to go. All the way to that metal post back there. What? Why did it explode? Oh well, we'll just dump it in there. I threw the other ones the other day. They didn't do that. We'll go about six inches. All right, what does it say on it? Install post other side up. Thankfully, we just got this 100 foot water hose, so we'll be able to reach pretty far. The rest of them we'll get with the bucket. Can you tighten it? <laughs> what? It's all tangled up. What the? <laughs> whoa, whoa, what the turn heck? Turn it off. Just turn it off and untangle it. Just no? hold the kink and I'll untangle it. Okay. <laughs> you gotta run all the way down there. <laughs> yeah. You got it? Ashley's always ordering something. It's like a freaking warehouse here, how many boxes we get. It's just money, make more tomorrow, right? <laughs> All right, so now that these two are set, we're gonna let this cure for a little bit longer before we try to tie a string to it because I don't want to move it off plumb. We are moving right along here and let me tell you, I'm gonna fill this tomorrow because we have 17 posts with two 80 pound bags per each post. So that's 34 bags times 80. I believe the math was 2,720 pounds and I just lifted all of those. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be really filling it tomorrow. While I was doing that, John was staging the post and he was digging out some more holes that we forgot to dig and cleaning up the rocks on some of the other holes. So now we are good to go. We're gonna hook our string right here to this corner post and then we're gonna go all the way down to that steel pipe down there. Then we're gonna set all these posts and that is our goal for today. Okay, let's do an arbor knot. You think this will work? You don't know a knot that pulls itself tight? I think it would be this arbor knot. And then you tie a little knot on here. And then when I pull this. Okay. Yeah, that pulled itself tight. So then I can just loop this around here and I'll be touching the back side of all these post and I'm going to do the same knot on that very far post. As long as we're on the back side here and the back side down there, all of our posts now, when we put them in, we just got to make sure that they're plumb in both directions and they're going to be barely touching that right there. That'll work. I'm good with that. Yeah. Yeah, that's good.
That is it. Well, there you have it, guys. We got our string line here, and all of our posts are about an eighth of an inch away from touching the string line, all the way down. So we know these are all perfect in a line, and I checked them all for plumb in both directions, so left and right and forward and back. So this is good to go. We probably went overkill on some of the concrete on some of these holes, but we're using two bags per hole. Sometimes we use two and a half on one hole and then one and a half on another one just because we didn't dig as deep on some of them due to the rocks that we pulled out but this is all done and this will cure up over the night and we can go ahead and start installing our cross members whatever they're called in our pickets tomorrow so we are in good shape and then i didn't put a post right here where i drove through with the truck earlier because I'm gonna have a gate there so I can actually drive and bring in some heavy equipment to do some dirt moving later. And that's it, this was a great productive day. I'm really happy with the progress we made. Whoa, what the? Oh, that was freaking loud. I wonder if the microphone picked that up. All right, well, that's it for this day. Join us on the next video when we actually install the wood on this fence. And we're going to try to burn as much of that pile right there as we possibly can tonight. And then move the trailer down here and finish burning it because I'm too cheap to go to the city dump. Listen to that fire crackle. Oh wait, that's this one. <laughs>